Hello, good morning and welcome. It's Jilly here in Australia coming to you um, with something a bit different. Um, I'm doing a voiceover this one because there was too much noise going on. This was a previous pour that I'd done um, a week or so ago. I will tag the actual video to the pour that's underneath. And what I did with the uh, dark sea that I was showing you, I just did that wash over the whole painting in that greeny effect but before I did that I did circles just used a template in circles over the pour to do a silver outline on those circles and then I just did the wash in that green oh well there you go I'm showing you how I did it now so I put those on and just went round in a silver acrylic paint stick so to do my circles in there and then the greeny out, outline that you can see was just a wash over the original colour and I was going to give it two coats but I thought I actually like that look of seeing a bit of what was going on underneath it. So after I did that then I am now going to, I let it dry completely um, and what I did show you is I sprinkled some of that cosmic dust over the damp piece of art so it would stick to it to look like a galactic. And what I'm showing you there is I mixed Floetrol and the gloss varnish from um, Global in that cup. Now this is to go onto my work so when I put my colours on they will still blow around even though that painting is completely dry. So I have seen a few other artists on um, do this kind of technique and I should have been more vigilant because I'm not actually sure um, what they're... I'd, I'll have to look, but as you know, I like to go about things, I see things and then think, oh, let me try it my way. But I think that I need to actually find somebody that's done this particular style successfully and um, have a go at it. I'd spread in just that flow troll and the gloss varnish medium over the top. Just so, like I said, my colours that I put on for a Dutch pour kind of thing through will actually blow around. But the whole painting should dry uh, completely clear. So I'm putting some of that dark sea on again and then I'm going to load, I think this next one's called Palest of Peach or something, Palest Peach um, from Global. So I'm layering these colours on so I can do a Dutch pour over the top of all that um, galactic kind of thing but it looked okay just um, without the Dutch pour over the top, I think, even just with the um, using the stencils of those rings. It, it kind of, um, I think it gives it like a 3D look. That is metallic copper I'm putting on there. And then I give it this green, which I think is called, well, it's like a peppermint green, but it's called Tahiti. Um, so I'm trying to make the colours not too bright to stand over what's under there because the colours under there are quite the dark green blue um, palette. Now that is the metallic gold and then I'm going to finish off with that one and then we'll blow this out and see how this, um, how this uh, transpires I guess. So at this point, I'm, as you see, blowing it out with my mini baby Baylis. Um, I will just kind of leave that whole thing to dry and see how it dries. There's an amazing thing happening 
Look at all the fractals, is it called? Fractals happening. So it's going to be interesting to see how this dries because that haziness of the Floetrol and the gloss pouring medium um, should all dry clear. So I wonder if these fractals will stay in it. Look like little trees in there on a landscape. So that might be an idea to set one up that Getting those fractures can actually help you. Where are they? Here they go. They look all along. Oh, gorgeous. Couldn't have painted them any better, could I? <laughs> I certainly couldn't. It's coming out looking very blue in my camera, but it is actually that um, deep ocean greeny, green blue. So that's interesting. That is interesting. Of course, I went and added a few balloon kisses, but they didn't work very well in this, I suppose, because there's so much fluid. I really probably should have left it just like that. It does look galactic with that galactic uh, glitter that I put on it, because when I did the blowout and it's dried, even though it doesn't look too bad, it does look like there's a couple of moons up there in the clouds. It actually did kind of crack some of the uh, creamy colour. Uh, I, I mean, it's it's dry and everything. So I'm thinking of could I just, you know, use a acrylic pen to Posca pen it in because it does look effective. So obviously I haven't got the recipe right for what's underneath. Hello and good morning. It's Chilli Cube coming to you with a another um, use of a new product to hopefully give me, well it's not a new product, it's an old product, but I'm going to use it to see how my end dried painting looks by adding this product. First of all, I just got these cookie cutters from the discount store. So they're great if you want to do kind of floating, a floating pour. Um, I think I'm going to try them. In this particular one I might use the kind of yeah so they're just very cheap two dollars discount store cookie cutters they are so no I won't be using them in my house again but I'll keep them aside I'm reusing this nice big um, yogurt container that's been washed and I've still got the lid so if I don't use all the paint I can store my paint and I've made my white paint up. Another thing I like is this has got a little pourer on the side. So that's a, a really good <laughs> container that I'm, I really wanted to use. So I've made my paint up with my uh, global acrylic. And then I've used my pouring medium to make it the consistency. This one is a bit thinner because I want to kind of do a floating pour. So this is a thinner mix, but what I want to add to this paint, and I've added it to my colours that I'm going to use, is the Global Gloss Medium and Varnish. So I don't use it as a pouring medium only, and I, I ha I've definitely used it as a varnish that I slightly water down and then do my wipe on method which you, uh, the video for it is in the drop down box. But I'm gonna add some of this to each of my paint colors. Now I'm not measuring it. I'm just giving, well this one, cause it's quite a large container. I'm just giving it a good squirt and mixing it with my paint. So hopefully, because it's mixed in all of my paints, it'll give a nice a glossy finish to the, you know, or a nice, um, I suppose it could even give a satin effect, but at least it's going to give that some more protection in the paint. It might even change the effect that I get in the overall look of the piece that I'm going to do. I'm not sure, so I will just we'll just try it. Yeah, love this container because it's got a nice pouring lip 
to it. So let's put the paint on the canvas. I'll skip through the boring bits. I think I would actually like to I was going to do a, a, a split pour, but I'll just do it this way at the minute. I'm just going to coat this nice. It actually, I don't know if it feels different, kind of feels uh, silkier to spread about. Maybe it is that um, gloss varnish in my paint, but I'm really hopeful that when I show you the dried effects it, it's a lot more glossier finish so that's doing a nice sort of silky effect there and now because I can recycle that I will just put my lid on and it's all good to go for another so this might be like a galactic So put me cookie cutters, like I said, all of my paints that I'm going to use have got a little bit of that, that uh, varnish in. So I'm hoping um, it'll give me that lovely... So I'm just going to load paints into the cookie cutters. As you see, it. this is Viridian Green. Um, I'm going to put a very, this is one that I just made up with white, the white and a little bit of Viridian green. That's gone a little bit lumpy. It has been sat there a few days. Oh dear. Never mind. I'll keep pushing on. See, just is a little bit lumpy. Oh, can't get the paints out now. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Play the game and then this is a little bit in between they're sort of all the shade same shade colors with a little bit more either white in them I'll go back to that darker one again so it'll either look galactic or not <laughs> we will see we will see and now I've got a navy, and again I've put a bit of the global gloss varnish in it. So I'm going to keep with the green and the navy. Galactica. Let's hope that it's not too kind of pale. They are all in the same tones. I don't think I'm going to... Oh, I might put some bronze in there. Maybe make it pop. I've got bronze here, so I might use some of the bronze. Give it... This is metallic block. Blah, 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 blah. Metallic bronze in here. So let's see what this does to it. Just pour this one in. I don't think I've done one of these cookie cutter pours for quite a while. I have done them. Yeah, let's see if we can get some galactic, galactica. Right here. The only other thing I would like to do is just pour a little bit of my white around the cookie cutter so the paint seep out underneath the white to slide around my canvas. Always fun doing something a little bit of a novelty technique, you know. Radio, let's just slide it, just lift it. Itsy witsy little bitsy, just slightly, and try and. Oh. Ooh, okay. I 
don't know if it's gonna go galactic looking now, <laughs> looking at it. Just lifting it slightly as you go so it's got that paint to float under. Ooh. And you just pop your cookie cutters into um, some water to clean them and Bob's your uncle all good to go again. Just giving it a bit of a Radio. I don't know if I've got the galactic look, but it's interesting because of those like wiggly lines that this cookie cutter has got the fluted lines. So it's given it something um, very different. We'll see how we go. Just tilt, just gently tilt. Ooh, not too quick, Mrs. Did I see it there? That was in that one colour, wasn't it? That light colour seems to have gone a bit. Okay. I was hoping to have a bit of negative space, but the way I'm going here, it's not looking like it's going to happen. <laughs> We'll take these bits out of it, chunky bits, mixed media for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about this, how this is going. The colours are beautiful. If you're into these green tones, then yeah, you will love this. Got my dog right under my feet behind me. I'm going to give that a little bit of heat and see what I can get out of that. Well, it's interesting. I mean, lots of people do actually buy these abstract sort of a geographical looks um it's not one of my favorites but i definitely like to try all techniques and products so it will be interesting if that one dries shiny but i am definitely going to do just grab my little offset spatula i'm gonna put a little bit on here on my spatula not gonna do much through it, just a little bit, she says. This is just the black with the Australian Floetrol, so I'm doing an Aussie slide through an area. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Now that, that, um, copper has just popped right up through it that you couldn't even see it before so of course i've got to do one kind of down here so just put it on there You're probably not too thick i think i did that last week and it was a bit so i'm gonna just very gently goodness and the copper that has popped through that is beautiful Wowzers, trousers. Oh, look, I'd love to keep going a bit more through this, but <sighs> just one more, one more. I want to bring you down so you can see. This is so gorgeous. I'm going to try and do an arch. Wow, wow, wow. Need to put a bit of paint back on there. Oh, 
knocked it all off, but I do my edges anyway, so I, oh, you can see this, it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Kind of could have made it a more ocean piece, couldn't I? Boy, oh boy, just look at that awesome <laughs> effect, and there's that metallic copper showing up which it didn't do on just the um the cookie cutter effect but look at this look oh my goodness that is gorgeous and then you've got these you know it's kind of like a ring pour background so it really makes the rest of it look like 3d so that's that big arch that i did and the colours are oh, absolutely, look at that. And then there's the real surprise of how much of that copper or metallic bronze, I don't use bronze or copper. So this will be interesting to see if it all um, dries with a nice sheen on it. So, my lovelies, I want to thank you guys for joining me. You are awesome. Thanks for the sticky viewers that have stuck with me and watched my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Try and catch up on some of my videos um, that you may have missed out on because I know doing them so often as I do, some people just don't get to watch every day. So, but there you go. That was um, a few different things in there, the uh, global gloss varnish and uh, using those cookie cutters. Okie doke. I will uh, see you all again tomorrow. I'm getting lost in this one. Bye for now. Okay, so this one ended up with, it has not got a shine shine on it, like a glossy coat, but it's got, you know, like it kind of feels vinyl-y. Um, to put your hand over it's dry so adding that gloss pouring medium certainly gives enough um an extra protection on it i guess because i could wipe it over now it's dry and certainly no paint comes out so that's an interesting thing that i might try on a few others in future so i hope you like this one talk to you soon bye for now